All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I'm going uh, like uh, life on air uh, earlier. Um, you know, I was waiting. I said there is no need to wait, and people they can watch it anyway if they are coming late later. You know, uh, I will show on the screen a comment, and those comments is something I see always. And today I decided to disable the chat because a chat always when we come with this topic, you see the division and how the devil he play. You know, the Quran chapter 5 verse 14 says that Allah, he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. And obviously Allah is very successful. The devil is very successful. And there is something very important we need to remember. First of all, I am not a Catholic. But I don't like stupidity. You know, the Bible has actually forbid me from saying the word stupid. But the Bible allowed me to say the word stupid when people say something stupid. Which means I cannot call someone saying something stupid unless he is doing that. <clears throat> I'm not trying to insult. In the front of us, we have a sister here. Her name is Jackie. She is saying, is CP a Catholic? No, I am not. Uh, a Catholic pray to marry CP. You are wrong. They are sorry. My mother is a Catholic. And she pray to Mary. I'm born again Christian. And I do not pray to Mary. I mean, here you see how many mistakes you made, Jackie, with my respect to you. I consider you as my sister in Christ. And I don't mean to say any harsh words for you. But obviously your tongue is running by itself and your brain is not functioning. Let me show you how many mistakes you made in your own sentence. For sure, I'm not talking about your English. Catholic pray to Mary. That is very, very silly to say. If you read the Bible, I'm not sure even you do. You, you see, you said your mother is a Catholic, so you do not know what your mother she say. Your mother, she is not praying to Mary. You are really ignorant. Extremely ignorant. And I saw those comments all over. Let us go to the prayer, which the Catholic, they say. Or let us say, the prayer you are saying, they pray to Mary. And then everybody will be laughing at you. And if you are a person who believe read the Catholic, they pray to Mary, uh, take a moment and laugh at you after you read with me carefully. This is the problem, actually, I see always, even when we study Islam or anything. I mean, people, they, their mouth run by itself. It's like a, a special organ. There's no control of it. The brain is not there. The tongue is just going all over the place. And like blah, 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 blah. This is the prayer which you are talking about. And your mother, she pray. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord with, is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Okay, hold on. But isn't it, this is what the Bible says? This is a quotation from the Bible. So you are saying when the angels, they say this to Mary, they are worshipping Mary. Then they will say to you, hold on. Here it says, uh, 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 Holy Mary, Mother of God. They say, well, she is holy and Mother of God. The Bible mentioned about holy people, right? Holiness is, is uh, uh, Mary. I mean, you see, if Christ himself, he chose to come through Mary, obviously Mary, she is a pure. Here is about being pure. She is the best pure woman ever. And this is why she was a chosen, elected. She was a chosen by God himself. I mean, how much honor you want that the Messiah, your Lord, he is born of Mary. How honor a woman she can accomplish. Which one is better for my mother? To be my mother or to be the mother of Christ? For sure, I am not the one who is going to win. So, you are out of control when you say things which is silly. Mother of God, they say to you, they say she is a mother of God. Isn't it Jesus your God? Okay. Isn't it she is his mother <laughs> by birth? <laughs> so she is mother of... <laughs> I mean, the state. either you believe that Jesus is God, then you cannot complain about such a statement because yes, she is his mother. Then you will say, but God don't have a mother. By birth he have. This is what Christianity teach. By, in Christianity, by the Bible, that Jesus is the son of Joseph and the son of Mary, by birth. This is what the Bible teach. By the flesh. 
and look what you are ignoring pray for uh, us pray for us she is herself she is doing an act of worship he mary herself they are asking her to worship with them they are not praying for her pray for us or maybe you are blind you did not see the main purpose of the whole this thing here pray for us Mary herself joining the believers praying to the Lord so you said that Mary she pray or Catholic pray for Mary but this is not what the what, what, what the statement is saying the Catholic is asking Mary to pray for them <clears throat> so for for the sake of God I don't know I, don't, I, I hate to use the word stupid and silly but I have to use it. I mean, sometimes people, they have no brain. I don't know what happened to the brain. We killed it. I think the food we eat, I don't know what happened. Those people are asking Mary to pray for them. They are not praying to Mary. And everything you saw there is written in the Bible. And look what you said I am born again a Christian I don't pray to Mary that's very stupid to say what first they don't pray to Mary and they don't want to worship Mary and there's no single Catholic worship Mary consider her as divine God that is very silly and very false statement shame on you to be Christian and to say you see I, I, I will not allow a Catholic to say a lie against the Protestant, but I will not allow you to, to say a lie against the Catholic. And you know, the, I, I think the problem is that from the Catholic Church, there's people who say things which is not a truth or not true about the Protestant. And from the Protestant, there's a lot of people saying lies about the Catholic. So whoever those people who they are doing that to each other, they are not practicing Christianity. Because the Christianity teaches you to be truthful, honest, and don't fabricate lies. So if you want to say something against the Catholic you don't like, okay, say it, but be truthful. As an example, me myself, I don't like people to pray in front of a, an icon. I'm not going to fabricate a lie, say they do something, but it's not true. I don't agree with them with that. But... I still understand those people they love Jesus they love Mary and they are not worshiping the image they are not worshiping the picture I am against it but still that will not make them not Christians you see if you commit sin you don't do you, you are not Christian that's me none of us is a Christian so let us say for the sake of argument praying in front of an icon is a sin but somehow the sin is really I mean I mean those people they are good people look they love Jesus that's what they, this is what they are doing so they when they practice something even that what you call it sin it is noble the purpose of is the purpose of it is something noble so I don't agree with it but for them by the way they have tons of argument to prove that this is a true this is the right way to do it so if I don't agree with them doesn't mean they are wrong for me, I believe there's no need for that because the Bible says don't make images for what up, up in, this, in, in heaven and down in earth. However, they will quote for you verses and they will say, show you, okay, there is other verses saying, etc. So it is a different of opinion, but still there are Christians who believe in the Messiah, who worship Jesus, who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and nobody is adding a new divine to the scriptures. And actually, when you say, I am born again a Christian, obviously, you do not know what born again Christian mean. Born again Christian, what does this have to do with uh, praying to Mary? And even though, as I showed you, they don't pray to Mary. That's a lie. I mean, why people lie? Born again a Christian, if you go to John, chapter 3, you will see, it says, that born again, you see, you are acting the same as the Jews and even the, the same as the disciples who they use to be Jews and they are taking things literally. The same as the Muhammadan today. When Jesus, he said, born again a Christian, 
the understanding was not correct. They said, how can someone be born when he, they are old? And this was the question by Nicodemus. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother womb. So what born again a Christian mean? The Messiah he answered. He said that to be born a Christian, again a Christian, is the one who is born by the water and of the Spirit. And the Catholic, they practice baptism. Which means, if you are a Protestant, if you are a Catholic, and you are Orthodox, all of you are born again Christian. Very silly, very false argument, far away from the truth. You don't even understand the Bible. Now, let us close here a statement. And you will see someone else like, hold on, before we move to move uh, another point. Because I see always a lot of funny, silly, stupid comments, which is sometimes really weird. Extremely weird. I mean, it is, it is the weirdest... It's, it's, some sometimes people they have a brain of of children's. I I wonder how those people they will make a family. If you can't understand, even you claim that you are a born again Christian, you go to the church, you pray, but you do not know what does that mean. And you think born again Christian is the name of a church or a group. Christ, by the way, he don't count all those names. He don't count someone is called Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. Those are your names, your creation, have nothing to do with him. Christ, he will count those who believe in him. Whoever believe in me and I will live. Not whoever believe in, 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 in the Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox. This is your own schools. And then it became like a gang. And then I became like the Muslim, Shia and Sunni, and let us kill each other. So from the Lord of love to people of hate. And we throw rocks at each other. But the fact, all of this is division from the devil. All of this is division from the devil, not from anyone. If I go to Luke, you see, just to show you that people don't read the Bible. They do not know even what the Bible is. Yet they claim to be born again a Christian. You are not born again Christian. You've never been born yet. You are only born from your mother. And I'm going to use a translation which is accepted by the Protestant not a translation by the Catholic. So that, just to make you make you happy. And actually, this is a translation always I use, you know, most of the time King James because they have an audio, even though sometimes like their English is really hard for me uh, uh, because it's a very old uh, English. So if you go in the book of Luke and you go down, you will see here something maybe you are not aware of. <clears throat> I don't know if you did read the holy chapter or not yet, but I advise you uh, to take your time, as long as you claim to be born again Christian, and start reading the holy chapter so you can learn something. And the angel came to her and said, Hail, though to you are uh, uh, highly favored. The Lord is with you. Blessed are those among the women. This is what they say, the Catholic. They are quoting the Bible. So according to you, the one who quote the Bible is praying to Mary. According to you, the angels are worshipping Mary, and Mary is God now. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, what I can say, it's really amazing.
and then if you like you know if you want to go and search for where where more sentences coming from those sentences are collection of verses from the bible about mary actually from the same chapter we will find you know more verses if you go to uh, 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 here <clears throat> uh, let us see you know like i mean all the verses are are confirming who is mary is you know and uh, how how mary she is honored how she is blessed with the holy spirit how she is carrying god in her womb For lo, as soon as the voice, sorry, here, let's see. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? What, the, the, the mother of who? You see, the ignorant, they say that the Catholic, they say, they say that Mary, she is the mother of God. This is, your, this is the Protestant translation. The mother of what? Of my God, my Lord. So look like <laughs> that Elizabeth, she is a Catholic too, according to you. And she is not born again Christian. There is one thing I pray, that if one day I get married, I pray, I pray that I will marry a smart woman, otherwise I will jump from the window. And maybe commit suicide. <laughs> Be smart, please. Be smart. You see, God, he gave you a brain. But these people, they kill their brain. They don't want to use it. God, he gave a brain for women and men. Those comments, we hear them from men too. Not only women. I mean, are you blind? And the funny, each time, I correct the Catholic about the Protestant, they, ex they get upset from me. I correct the Protestant about the Catholic, they get upset from me. And I receive emails saying, we will not donate for you, you defend the Catholic. Uh, we will not donate for you, you are defending the Protestant. I don't care who donate or not. Take your money. I am not for sale. I am not for the devil. I am here to share the truth. And if you are a person who hate the Catholic or a person who hate the Protestant, please go and stop your donation. I beg you. Your money is dirty. We are one in Christ. Not by a priest. He's a Protestant. Not by the Pope not by a christian prince all of us we are sinners and all those names don't count and whatever they say to you most of them i mean it's obvious anyone bring division he is not from god the bible teach there is one church so each time you divide yourself you are going against the will of the lord and what the Lord said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will, you are not doing his will. You are busy fighting inside the house instead of praising the Lord for having a person who believe in Jesus. He is not a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddha or an atheist. You don't have to agree with the Catholic. Still, at the end of the day, they are Christian who believe in Jesus as their Lord, as their Savior. They believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And the same for you if you are a Catholic. The Protestant, they are Christians. Don't listen to your stupid priest lying to you. They are good people. And if somebody told you that he, he is the one, his church is the one will take you to heaven, obviously he is a fraud. He is of the devil. 
because nobody can take you to heaven no priest no man no bishop no pope only Christ the Messiah and I can quote for you in these verses in the Bible oh CP they pray for the saint you idiot the Bible have a ton of verses speaking about praying to each other And the word pray, you see, we have an idiot, his name, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab. When David Wood, he asked him, uh, uh, Allah, he pray uh, uh, on Muhammad. He said he pray for, not to. It is what you are doing now. But here it fit perfectly. Mary, she is praying for, <laughs> for the Catholic. And the Catholic are not praying to Mary. <laughs> they are asking Mary to pray for them. Oh boy. Uh, you know, uh, I named the title. I, I stopped the, the chat as I told you because I don't want uh, some Muhammadan to come and play the games of dividing you. Be aware of that always. You see, one of the things they hate me for that I come with unity. And when unity come, the devil run away. You see, those who believe that I am sharing the truth, they are from everywhere. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. Why? Because it's obvious. The Messiah, he did not come to make us a groups and sects and schools. You see, when the disciple used to have an argument, go and read the book of Acts. They talk to each other in a friendly way, beautiful way. Teach each other what is right to do. You don't do that. You just cast stones. You are far away from the teaching of Christ when you do that. There is a red line. If somebody pass, he is not a Christian. The Bible says, who is the Antichrist? The answer is very simple. The one who denied the Father and the Son. Neither you, Protestant, neither the Catholic, neither the Orthodox, deny the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Neither you de de deny the crucifixion. Neither any of you, you know, uh, say that Jesus is not a, a, a man who is born of a woman, but yet he is God in the same time. None of you deny that he was resurrected and he is coming back and he is the only way of salvation. The rest is just your own you know, like you are trying to find a reason to get yourself busy. You know, some, some human being sometimes he 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 go to the nature of the animal. Like you know, the cat she is bored, and she wanna chase her tail. And if there's no tail, I mean, if there is no rat or mice, we 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 chase the tail. Don't be a cat. You are a human. God gave you a gift. Use it. And don't be silly. When you are silly, you disrespect yourself. Be loving. I don't agree with the Catholic in many things, but I love them. They are Christians, great Christians. The same as the Protestant, the same as the Orthodox. You do not need to agree with the Christian prince to make a Christian prince a Christian for you. The Bible is the one who made the vision, or you, it's you. So I advise you, if you claim to be reborn Christian, as you claim, first learn that reborn is not about uh, what you are saying. It is about who is the one who accepts the Messiah as Lord, as Savior, and he do baptism by the water and the Spirit. And if your mother is a Catholic, that does not mean that you are, you know what Catholic is about. Obviously, you don't. And actually, most of those people who claim to be Catholic or Protestant, they don't even know what does that mean. They have no idea. They are just born of it, or you know. And, you know, like you met a friend, they said to you, the Catholic, they pray to Mary, etc. Join our church. Our church is better. That's it. You became holy. Suddenly, you became, you became the saint and they became the devil. Why? Because somebody told you they pray to Mary, which is absolutely false.
the prayer in front of you. They are asking Mary to pray for them. And we can show tons of verses in the Bible where they are saying, pray for me, brother. Pray for each other. Actually, there is an article. Let me see if I can find. There is, I'm sure there is some articles. They can explain to you about the word pray. How in the Bible it come in many places have different meaning. However, even in the prayer there, it is pray for us. I mean, it's so clear. That is, you know, pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us to who? She pray to who? They are not asking her to forgive them. You see, all of you, your English is better than mine. Do you see anywhere she, they are saying, forgive us, Mary? Pray for us. Now and in the hour of our death. How many times we hear brother Sam Shamoon, each time Sam Shamoon, our brother, he's a Protestant, he go live on air and says, pray for me. Okay, does that mean he is worshiping, you are worshiping him now? Pray for me. Pray for my health. Pray, pray. He, he say, pray for my daughter. Pray, etc. That's 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 wonderful. Why not? The, the Bible encourages us to pray for each other. So those who say such an argument, they are Muhammadan, in my book, because one of the signs of to be Muhammadan is to be ignorant, who don't understand anything, including your own book. The Muhammadan, they follow a guy whose name is Muhammad. He understood that the, 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 the Trinity in the Quran is Mary and Jesus and Allah. But yet, no, we cannot find one Christian believe in that. And this is exactly what you are doing. You are the same as Muhammad, who believe that the Christian believe that Mary, married from God, have son, his name is Jesus. So somehow you are a Muslim without knowing. Fabricating lies against the Catholic, something they did not say, they did not practice. When those poor Catholic, they are just quoting the book of Luke. Nothing more, nothing less. Tomorrow uh, is a Friday, and as we promised you, we will go live on air in the other account, which is going to be Quality of Life M27. So if you like to join us, feel free. If you're upset from me, don't come. I don't care. All right? I mean, just go. Please just go. You know, always in my life, I don't do what is pleasing to others i do what is pleasing to god if i tell you how much you know uh, uh, I, I mean what i face in my life you want to believe it because i am always like this i don't care what people think i don't care what people will say i do just what is right You like me, you don't like me, who care? I care that the Lord knows my name and I'm sharing the truth. And the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So a person asking Mary to pray for him is a bad person for you. Maybe the person who go night to club and shake his bum and drink whiskey and take hashish and die from overdose, this is the good Christian for you, maybe. Just because you don't pray, asking Mary to pray for him. I mean, there is billions of people are lost. And then when somebody is praying, asking God, we throw rocks at that person who is praying, lying about him, say he is worshipping Mary when he is not.
Don't fabricate things. And before you quote what somebody else told you, go and check it out. Read it yourself. Find out if this is true or not. My mother is Catholic. Yeah, I believe you. You know what? My grandfather was Buddha. So what does this have to do with the... With the <laughs> like supposedly she is the expert. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to stay long. And I disabled the comment because I, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to hear things make me upset. Stupid things. Uh, be truthful, my friend. Be truthful with yourself. Love each other. Whoever believe in me and die, he will live. This is the word of my Lord. It's not you who decide who is a Christian who is not. Heaven is not in your hand. You are not a Khomeini giving keys to people. Neither the Pope, neither the Protestant, neither the Orthodox, neither Christian Prince. Anyone who claim that he holds the keys of heaven is lying to you. There is only one person who said, I am the door. I am the way, I am the truth, I am He, I am your Lord. Anything else is a lie. So don't, and you know, like, don't attach yourself to a name of a church, please. I, this is my advice to all of you. If you are a Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, please forget about those names for, for the sake of the Messiah. Forget that you are a Catholic. There's nothing is called Catholic. Nothing is called Protestant. Nothing is called or name for you to carry then the name of Christ. Look at my name, Christian Prince. Why why my name is Christian Prince? There's no better name. Christ is part of my name. I am a prince by him. Our Lord, he made us his children. So we are the sons and the children of the King of Kings. When you attach yourself to silly names, have nothing to do with Jesus. Ask yourself, who are you? How far you became from the Lord? What made you Catholic? What made you Protestant? What made you Orthodox? What is that? When the Bible called you only Christian. Only. And if you choose a name other than what is in the Bible, you are fabricating your own scriptures, fabricating your own names. You are labeling yourself in a name which is not in the scriptures. So imagine they say, all of those churches, they say they are following the Bible, but yet they are calling themselves names. It's not in the Bible. Let us repent and let us pray that the Lord will open our eyes so we can see and we will not live by someone say. We will live by the word of the Lord and we can read it as it is written in front of us. Open your heart. Don't be blind. And don't be leaded by someone. Maybe he is serving the devil. You know, I got invitation everywhere. And... You know, once I receive a uh, you know a complaint from a friend, he's a good person. He's a Protestant. He said that the one who uh, who divide you know Christians, he is serving the devil because you know he you speak he don't uh, uh, agree with the Catholic. I said to him, yeah, well. This is exactly what's happening. He said, but I, I speak, I, say, I am against the Catholic. I said, exactly. You are serving the devil. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you know, in this point, you are serving the devil. Because you are not just disagreeing. You are saying the Christians, the, the Catholic, are not 
following Christ and the other Christian. This is a lie. So either you are saying it based on ignorance or you are lying. Choose, choose one. Both of them is horrible. Which one of, of them is you? And you will see someone as a Catholic saying the same about the Protestant. He is lying too. Because the Bible decides who is a Christian who is not. Whoever believe in me. You see, this was a thief, a criminal, next to the Messiah in the cross. He was not a Catholic. He was not a Protestant. He was not Orthodox. He believed that the Lord did promise him to be heaven. I mean, do you see how silly we are? The guy is not even qualified to speak to the Messiah. He is not from the disciple. He is not even a good man. He didn't have a good deed. He's a criminal. He repent. He accepted the Messiah. He had been promised that he will be with the Lord. He did not meet Peter, neither Paul, neither any of the disciples. He did not waste his time as a cr criminal to think about uh, praying to God one day. Yet the Lord, he forgive him for he repent and he believe. So it's not you who make people Christians, who make them not Christians. Shame on you. You are acting as if you are God. You are taking the place of Jesus, sitting in the chair and say, hey, I am God now. Those are Christians. Those are not. Send them to hell. This guy is bad. This guy is etc. Why? Because this, you claim that they pray for Mary, which is not a true. I love all of you, Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox, but please don't make me say those words again. I don't like to hear, I don't like to see somebody saying I am Protestant. I, that's not really something good for me. I don't like somebody saying I am Catholic. Ah, what does that mean? Say I'm Christian, my friend. Be proud of Christ. Be proud of the holy name. Who his kingdom shall come. Not by a bishop. Who make a good speeches. But yet he have a fancy house. Donate to the poor. Okay and then. He's like Muhammad. He have a fancy nice house. Like the Mohammedan, you know, they they uh, they, uh, uh, they charge for every speech uh, in Indonesia five six thousand dollars for speaking for twenty minutes. Imagine business, big business. And this is what the Lord he did. He entered the the yard of the temple and he flipped the table on them. You made my father's house a market, a bazaar. And now what we see is a bazaar. Oh, my product is better than your product. Oh, my church is better than your church. You are not doing any good to the Lord. You are not serving him. Ask yourself, you know, this lady who said the uh, I am born again. When the last time you made somebody, help somebody to accept the Messiah as his Savior? Who you are proud to be born again Christian? How that can be possible? That you are born again Christian, yet you never brought somebody to Christ. So what born again Christian made you? You are good at making barbecue? You are good in posting texts, hurting the feeling of people, lying about them, saying they pray to Mary, but they don't. 
when the fact they are asking Mary to pray for them? And if you are a Catholic doing the same to the Protestant, shame on you too. Don't lie about each other. Don't be a victim of the big fat liar, the devil, who have a plan for you, to divide you. Be one by his name. I would love to see the Christian forgetting about those names. I don't want to hear them. Anyone will come to my chat program. You want to say to me, I'm a Catholic, I'm Protestant, I'm Orthodox. I will block you. I don't want to hear, I don't want, I don't want to see you. I am a Christian, my friend. I don't want to be anything else. I want to be a follower of Christ. I don't want to be a follower of a bishop. I don't want to be a follower of a church. I am a follower of the Lord. The church is us. Those who believe. Our belief in the Lord make us a Christian. Not Catholic, not a Protestant, not Orthodox. The Messiah said, love your enemy. And then they cannot even love each other. I mean, we pray for the Muslims. We love the Muslims. We try to save them. And then when it's come to ourselves, okay, we cannot, so well, how you can be Christian? And how you can be Christian? You see, the Muhammadan, they've been trained to lie about Christianity in order to make people stay away from Christianity. So they lie to each other, the Christians, they do this, the Christians believe in that, all is fabrication. Just to make their children hate Christianity, so they will not even think about it. And this is exactly what you are doing. I hope people understand very well what I'm saying. You don't have to agree with me, I don't care if you agree or not. And this is the last, by the way, the last of my worry about who agree, who don't. It is the last of my worry. I don't say things to make you agree. I say things I believe it is true. You agree, you don't, this is your business. And if you are a Catholic, I'm not defending you. Don't take me wrong. If you're a Protestant, I'm not against you. Don't take me wrong. I'm just sharing the truth. The truth, my friend. Be truthful. Be holy like your father. And don't be fool. Following men is a clear proof that you are being fooled. You can go right now <clears throat> and search Prophet Gogol, peace upon him. You see, uh, you know, people they say today we are living today in the smart age, smart time. Like, okay, we search Google, right? Yeah, well, uh, you search Google because, because you are because you are ignorant, not because you are smart. You, we search Google, and I search Google too. Uh, not because we are really educated, but because we have a lot of ignorance. And maybe it is because it's easier to find, you know, answer. But usually most of people, they do search. Like, you know, okay, I want to buy a tree. I don't know how long it grows. So I search Google. Why? Because I'm ignorant in that topic. I do not know. Google will give you an answer. So we are in the age of where things under your fingertips. You do not need really uh, to work hard for it. It's very easy. You can search the whole gospel, not by flipping pages, by putting a word in the search engine. This is how easy it is. You want to learn about born again, just search for born again in the search engine. Yet, we do not even know what born again means. The Bible said, my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance and nothing changed. The Jews, they were ignorant. Christian today, many of them, they are suffering from the same problem.
Ignorance is our enemy. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, we are brothers, we are family, we are followers of Christ, we are his people. Anyone divide you, stay away from him. Anyone he speak against the other church, he is not doing good work for the Lord. Because put in your mind, a person who is a Protestant praying to the Messiah, he worship the Messiah. What make him bad? How that can be? He don't agree with you with things, so what? <laughs> you yourself don't agree with yourself. I mean, you you make decision today. A few days after, you say yourself, I, I wish I did not make it, which means you did not agree with yourself. You make big decisions sometimes, like you get married. And then you find that this is not the woman you want, or not this is the man you want. So, which means you didn't agree with yourself. So, if not agreeing with someone, that person will make him not a Christian. That is just, just very silly. That is very dangerous, actually. Believe in the Messiah as Lord. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the crucifixion, the resurrection is making you Christian. Doesn't matter who you are. If you are a person like Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, uh, believe that Jesus is an angel, his name is Michael, or whatever, blah, 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 obviously they are not Christians. But all of us, those major churches, they believe in the same thing. The rest is it's not even needed. You see, we have the four Gospels for the sake of argument. Let us say all the other books are not exist. Only we have the four Gospels. Okay, the Orthodox Church have them. The Catholic have them. The Protestant have them. The four Gospels in total agreement and they all praise the Lord. All of them, they name the Lord. All of them, they identify him as the Lord, the Messiah. All of them agree in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. All of them agree that the Messiah died in the cross. All of them they agree that the Messiah is coming back and he is going to be the one to, who judge. All of them agree that the Messiah is the only way of salvation. So what is left? What is left? Nothing. But when you are looking for division, you will find it. When the devil occupy your heart, ah, you will find a big space for him. You will give him the living room, if not the bedroom. So I say at the end of this video, let us love each other. The Lord, he says, even love your enemy. So how about we love our brothers and sisters in Christ from any churches, doesn't matter what the church name, as long they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they believe that the Messiah is the way, he is the Alpha, he is the Omega, by him and for him everything was created, they believe in his holy name, they believe that he is the judge of the judgment day, they believe he is coming back, they believe he is resurrected, they believe that he is born of the Virgin Mary and they believe that he is the Almighty God. Those are Christians. Anything else is false. Thank you for listening. I hope I did hurt the feeling of many. That means my speech was good. And I will continue hurting. Take care. Bye-bye.